All right guys, so today we're gonna to be working on a project uh, on the van so that it is prepped and ready to go to the Linex. So we are gonna be adding a rack to the van, which then eventually we'll be putting on some solar panels onto that rack. And so I have a way to get wired in, from outside to inside the van. We're gonna be adding one of these little ports like you see here. Basically it attaches to, it'll attach to the high top. And then you have these two uh, sealed ports that the wires can come through and that's a great way that's the way i had it done before and it's the way we're going to do it now so we got to get these on before the linex because once i put them on i am going to have sealant and everything but i want to make sure that i don't have any worries and have them actually linex over these boxes so that that way it the linex will coat it and between the linex and the lap sealant and the butyl tape i'll never have to worry about any leakage all right, so where I'm planning on putting these ports is going to be right here. I had, when they did the interior uh, siding inside, they gave me a little access port right here on the inside so that that way I can take that off. And so what I'll do is I'll mount these facing with the ports down. I actually have two of these that I got to install. I got this double port, which will be for the positive and negative of the solar. But then I also have a single port that has a group of wires that's going to come out for my lighting that I have on the rack. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a template that I can use to cut a hole big enough for the inside diameter of this port. Now you absolutely can just drill a hole that's big enough for your wires and then just cover up that hole with the port. The challenge is there is some backing nuts that you have to be able to access from inside here when you're putting on screwing in these ports. If you just have a hole, it's going to be hard to get those backing nuts in place and be able to get these to screw in and be tight and seal. So what I want to do is actually make a hole that is going to be big enough for the wires, but also big enough that I can get my fingers in there comfortably and put, be able to put those nuts in place while these ports are being screwed in. So like I said, we're going to make a template and then we'll use that. We'll draw the, put the template up against the van and then we'll draw that out and we'll go ahead and cut those holes. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a drill bit and I'm gonna go ahead and drill a small hole going out to the outside. And all this hole is for me is a reference point so that I know outside where I need to actually cut the bigger holes. Okay. Okay, so now that we've got the mar hole marked and everything where we're gonna put it, we're gonna just use this cutoff wheel to cut it out. Have to admit a little stressed about this, but uh, I think it'll go okay. All right, so I've got the holes cut now and I've already gone up there and cleaned the area really well with some alcohol infused wipes so that way we get a good adhesion with the butyl tape. So that's what's gonna go on next. It's just basically a putty-like tape that will go on and I'll put it around all the edges. 
and then we can go ahead and push and adhere these on. Now, as an optional step, I am going to put some screws in. I think that is considered optional with these. To be honest, I don't know. I've always used screws, so I'm going to, you know, go ahead and use a couple screws, and then we'll follow that up with putting some self-leveling lap sealant over the top of everything. Then, like I said, once they put the line X on, it will cover that also as well, and it will be really well sealed. All right, so we're all done with the job. Now I did decide to go against the self-leveling lap sealant, which I was gonna put on here, mainly because of the fact that since it's not on a level surface, this is supposed to be self-leveling. I talked with the Linex dealership, because we are gonna cover this completely with Linex, this just seemed like a redundant step that didn't need to be done, and they will be able to seal it with the Linex uh, really well. So. If you weren't doing the Linex like I'm doing, you definitely do want to seal it with something uh, over the top of the butyl tape and everything, but because we are doing the Linex, I don't have to worry about it. Anyways, guys, that's the uh, video for today. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave those down below. If you like this video and other DIY videos like this when I'm working on the van, please let me know down below in the comments and with the like button. So we'll catch you guys again outside.